Hello, why are we demanding a fair wage for off-Broadway contracts? Well, I have worked off-Broadway now for um, a good last 13, 14 years, pretty continuously in a lot of the off-Broadway theaters in New York City, um, the Signature, uh the Vineyard, New York Theater Workshop, just to name a few, the Public Theater, just to name a few. And um, very many times I have had to make huge sacrifices in order to do these wonderful plays with these wonderful artists um, just because they don't pay enough. Um, and now I have much more responsibility than I ever had before. And... <laughs> It's becoming an impossible choice sometimes that I I have to choose to do other things to do television or film that I'm not necessarily as excited about um, as an artist and not do the play that is really inspiring, um, that inspires me, that moves me, that makes me feel fulfilled, so to speak, because... Um, the wage isn't a livable wage, and I'm not able to afford just the normal things that people no. need to pay for. No. Um, you want that. And I can't keep asking my spouse to make these sacrifices every time you I do a play, and I can't keep asking my mom to watch my horrible children um, because she's getting old and she wants to have an actual no. retirement. So, um, if we are expected to work these longer weeks, if we are expected to work more than 40 hours a week sometimes, six days a week, then we should be getting paid a livable wage, a fair wage. And that's all that we're asking for. I don't think it's too much, and I don't think it's unreasonable, and I actually think in the end we'll all benefit from it. Um, it just makes working easier if you're not worried about everything else. <sighs> like a second job or dipping into your savings. I could go on and on, but I think that's good. That's enough. Yeah? Don't you think that's enough? Mm -hmm. Are you making cut some kind of crazy eyes? Okay. Okay. <laughs>